in our journey of contributing to the socio-economic development of the state of Andhra Pradesh. It is an honor today to have amongst us the young and very dynamic Honorable Chief Minister, the YS Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu amongst us today. Honorable Chief Minister, we are very grateful to you for being here with us today. Your presence means a lot. It's a source of immense inspiration for all of us. And we thank you for being here today. Thank you very much for the honor. <coughs> Honorable Chief Minister, your focus on inclusive growth in the state of Andhra Pradesh is truly inspirational. In a short span of time, there have been multi-dimensional initi initiatives that have been brought forward in the state with a lot of agility and passion. And the fact that the state of Andhra Pradesh is ranked right on top in the good governance rankings for agriculture and allied areas is a testimony to the tremendous amount of progress that has been made under your leadership. The Navratrelu scheme, which encompasses multiple areas, is very well thought out, very strategic, and focuses on some of the core aspects of social development. There are schemes for women, for farmers, education, local level governance, and these hold immense promise to fashion a new paradigm of socio-economic growth in the state of Andhra Pradesh. In fact, we are truly encouraged and inspired. We have watched with a lot of inspiration the manner in which the state government has provided help to people during the pandemic, people who needed it, the speed, the agility, the passion is indeed commendable and exemplary. It's something that we have not witnessed anywhere else. We are not surprised that Andhra Pradesh is also the top state today in terms of ease of doing business, and it has been consistently so. And this is a testimony to all the interventions, the quality of execution, the transparency, the effectiveness of governance that you have brought onto the table. And we as an investor in Andhra Pradesh are deeply inspired and encouraged by all this transformation. ITC has a very large, long, enduring and growing footprint in Andhra Pradesh across all the three sectors of the economy, agriculture, manufacturing and services. This year, our oldest unit in Chirala, later this year is going to celebrates its centenary. So Andhra Pradesh has a very special place for us, very special place in our hearts. It is also the hub and the headquarters of our agribusiness, which is amongst the largest in the country. That's right here in, in Guntur. And, and more importantly, it is al also the hub of all crop development and farmer empowerment activities. We have a research facility here, we have an analytics lab facility here for ourselves and for the industry at large. We have a research facility in Rajamundri and, and we are very proud of it, we are very proud of our association with Andhra Pradesh in all these spheres. We work across multiple value chains, there is this traditional value chain of tobacco and of course now we work with rice, with aqua, with fruits, with spices and we are continuing to grow our footprint. And it is not merely for us, it is not merely about buying agri-commodities. ITC has always believed, and we believe in the credo of nation first, sub saath bade. So it's all about contributing to inclusive growth. It's all about working at the back end so that we can empower our most important stakeholders, which are the farmers. And recently, along with the state government, the vision of the Honorable Chief Minister, We've also partnered on a large PPP to make 
Guntur or Andhra Pradesh rather, a hub, a global hub of chili exports, and there is a large farmer empowerment, farmer training program that we are jointly undertaking. And the results of this in a short period of time are indeed very commendable, where productivity has gone up by 13% and incomes are up by 26%. Based on these learnings, and, and this was a place where digital state-of-the-art, digital technologies were also used. ITC is now building ITC Mars, that is Meta Markets for Advanced Agriculture and Rural Services, which will help us scale up our initiative. Our contributions to the rural economy are also backed up by our social development program in the area of watershed, animal husbandry, education, amongst others. Today is a very special occasion for us, a very special moment as we unveil, launch and dedicate to the state of Andhra Pradesh, welcome hotel, Guntur. This is the first. This is a hotel with 104 rooms, a number of suites, and a lot of amenities for guests. It is the first five star property in Guntur, and we hope it will make a meaningful contribution to the tourism landscape of Guntur. And I know, Honorable Chief Minister, tourism is one another area that you have been very passionate about, and we are committed to partnering with the state in developing this, this sector. I'm also happy to in inform you that this is the first LEED Platinum Hotel, LEED Platinum Certified Hotel in Andhra Pradesh. It is also on its way to very soon become amongst the very few hotels in the world that will be a net carbon zero hotel. The first two hotels are also ITC hotels. This possibly will be amongst the first few in the world to achieve this distinction. It is well on way. Our commitment to sustainability and environment is also manifest in the large investment that we have done in a wind farm in Anandpur. And that reduces carbon emissions by 100,000 tons every year. And I take, I'm humbled and, and also I take pride to also say that ITC is the only company in the world to be water positive, carbon positive, and solid waste recycling positive for 1916 and 14 years. And some of our initiatives in this sphere also emanate from our Guntur headquarters. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank you, Honorable Chief Minister, for your continued support guidance and encouragement for all our initiatives in Andhra Pradesh, encouraged by the transformation we are seeing in Andhra Pradesh. We are also committed to investing another 400 crores, which is in the pipeline across, largely in the area of food processing, in spices, aqua, and upgradation of existing facilities. And we wish to also reiterate our commitment to partner with you in your, in, the, in your vision and in the journey of the state in its socio-economic transformation. And so once again, Honorable Chief Minister, thank you very much for all your support, all your guidance, and thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank you for this honor. Thank you very much.